Well, to me, discipleship, especially child discipleship, is basically the mission of the church, is the whole Matthew 28, uh, go into all the world and make disciples. Now, in every country, you got kids, you got young people, you got every age group. And so, you know, if you look up the Greek word for all uh, and really, you know, the, get some theologian advice, what it really means is all. And it doesn't leave out a single age group. And so nowhere in the Bible were we called to make leaders. We were called to make disciples, but also to be able to change society. We're seeing so much of letting society change the local church. Uh, but I believe that we were called uh, to make a difference in our society. And so as we pass on faith, it looks different. You know, um, I remember years ago, we sat down as a team and said, what's a touchdown in our ministry? And some folks said salvation. I said, no, I think salvation, uh, you know, is a field goal, but discipleship. So how do you go for two in the body of Christ? What's an extra point? How do you make first down? Because if you make first downs on a consistent basis, you're going to score touchdowns. And so I think that Having discipleship is the prize that we're all aiming at because every child that I've ever had the privilege of getting to walk with uh, through these last almost 50 years, uh, it's, it's been so cool because um, it all boils down to training them now for a lifetime of service as a devoted follower of Jesus and a member of his bride, the local church. You know, regardless of your age, there's three things you can do. Number one, you can tell people what Jesus has done for you. Uh, you can tell your God story. Uh, number two, you can invite them to come to church with you. And number three, once you've experienced faith, uh, you can lead them into faith. You know, a 10-year-old might not know everything, but there are certain things he knows that his young friend that's new to the Lord doesn't know these basics. And so uh, I love seeing kids disciple their peers and their friends and then bring them to church where workers and leaders and other adults can come alongside and. Uh, just give them, tell them the same thing their parents are telling them at home. Uh, you know, uh, when kids hear from workers the same thing mom and dad's teaching them, makes mom and dad look smarter. And it's important, and we need people other than family in our kids' life, but family has a role of discipler. And it's not just about physical needs or playing sports or uh, being on the honor roll. Uh, it's about finding God's purpose for your life and discipling this next generation. Everybody should be a part of the discipleship process. Uh, we should be discipling others. Those others we're discipling should be discipling others as well. And all of us should be discipling kids, and especially the kids that live in our house. Working with the local church all these decades, I've been able to see that uh, discipleship wins. Uh, programs don't. Uh, decisions don't. Uh, just a great event doesn't win. But discipleship always wins. What an honor and a privilege it is to be able to uh, minister to kids in these days. You know, the Bible tells us plain, in the last days, uh, God's gonna pour out His Spirit on all flesh. And the first group that He mentions are children. 